this afternoon at 6 or this evening, my goodness. I made a tornado, and now the challenge is, can I do it again? Well, let's watch. The ingredients of a tornado, I asked myself, what do you really need? I know that you need warm, moist air, so I filled a pan full of water, and I got me a can of Sterno, not to drink, mind you, but just to heat up the water. And then I made myself a box so that I could contain this mess. And you see, I've got steam coming up. And then I cheated a little bit. I put some slits in the side of this thing so that the air would come in at a little bit of an angle. That simulates the rotation of the earth to give it a little twist. And I said, well, now, what else would you need to make this thing really go? Well, I know you've got to have a thunderstorm maybe five, six miles high. How do you simulate that? The original boob tube. No fans attached, nothing. I want you to notice that right at this outset, that at no time during this demonstration will my hands leave my arms. Now then, watch what happens when I place the chimney on top of the tornado machine. You'll see that the pressure at the top is less than the pressure at the bottom, and therefore, we will start a circulation of into and around and up the chimney, and that creates the twister right before every... And now, look what happens when I take away the chimney. In other words, remove the thunderstorm. You notice how it falls apart, goes to pieces, but can Frank recreate this monster? Indeed, replace the chimney, and watch slowly as it organizes again to sweep out its swath of death and destruction in miniature. But I have control over this one, at least, well, perhaps I don't have control over this. I think we better put it away, tuck it away for the night, and see what kind of conditions similar to that are producing our weather today. First thing, I got up this morning, walked into the office, looked at the weather map for the low temperatures. We had maybe a 58-degree temperature.